Welcome to another episode of Healthy Way Podcast, where we discuss health issues ranging from physical, mental, emotional, as well as current facts. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about essential oil. Is it an investment in good health? Please allow me to introduce my guest, Charlene Muller, who is a mother of three, a very supporting husband, who's also been diagnosed with autoimmune disease, also a wellness advocate, and an essential oil specialist with doTERRA. I got that right, Charlene, right? I got that yes, correct. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Okay, <laughs> thank you. So um, I want to say thank you for taking the time to be part of the show. Like, I've seen you around, and I really wanted to understand what essential oil is. Like, I've seen so much about it. So I think for my audience, as well as myself, is what are essential oils, and what are they actually made of? Okay. Well, first, I want to say thank you for having me. Um, this is an awesome uh, podcast. Um, so essential oils, they are aromatic compounds that are okay. derived from different parts of the plant. So, so for example, a peppermint leaf. Underneath the peppermint leaf, there's very small um, sacs with the essential oil. So if you rub a leaf between your fingers, you'll actually feel the moisture, and that's actually you popping the essential oils. Oh, okay. So it, Right, so it comes from different parts of the plant. So um, a pure essential oil is like 50 to 70 times more um, powerful than herbs. Okay. Right, so very potent. So are you saying that the oils itself is actually derived from the, um, from the product? So like if you said it's a specific, for lack of a better choice word, plant, that little essence of itself, that's the oil that comes up and that's what's been used? Is that what my yeah, understanding is? Exactly. Yeah. So it's okay. it's distilled from the plants. Even um, some of the citrus oils, they okay. come from the rind of a fruit. So for example, you know when you're peeling an orange yeah. and you kind of you, you're peeling it and you like get a little burst of something coming out? That's actually oh. the essential oil. Yeah. Right. That makes a lot of sense. So it's not yeah. like it's chemical made again, essential is really from the actual natural product itself. Plant. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that makes sense. Definitely. Like, I guess with that said, are all essential oils the same, ba- like, you know how like there's good quality and bad quality? Would you say that, you know, you, they're all the same value, like they're all the same. Yeah. That's what I'm basically asking. I don't know. Like sometimes you hear about organic food and then regular food. I'm like, what, well, isn't that food? Food? I don't yeah. understand the difference. Exactly. <laughs> like explain to yeah, me. Same place. Yeah. So I think that's what I'm asking is, could you say all essential oils are the same? Um, no. All okay. essential oils are not the same. Um, it's actually not a regulated industry. Okay. So technically, you can put whatever into into the bottle of essential oil. Sorry, right? You said technically, uh, so yeah. people could put. That sounds like when I when you say that, I think of drugs. Like you know how people like cook up yeah. things and then, so yeah. okay, <laughs> add so stuff you, in there. Yeah. But you know how they you, you know how um, people would put things in to stretch it. So it oh. has five percent, say five percent peppermint oil and then we've put some olive oil in there we put some you know peppermint scent in there so there's fillers there's um synthetic materials in in there and you know unfortunately there isn't a yeah yeah i'm sorry most of the time you can look go ahead no no finish finish most of the time what please go ahead so most of the time you can actually like when you look at the bottle so yeah. even even myself, you get kind of caught up. Well, I'm buying it in the health food store, so it yeah. has to be pure, right? Okay. But if you look at the bottle, sometimes it will say things like, um, "It was 100% pure oil." So we're looking, we're talking about a bottle of peppermint, right? On your peppermint um, oil, not this one. This is DoTerra, but okay. on a on your bottle, it will say um, "100% pure oil." When you go back and read the the finest print you can find. It yeah. will say like um, 10% peppermint, you know, 50% olive oil, um, and some, you know, like it's, it's, so it's oils, it. it's, but oil, but it's not I get just it. peppermint. I get it. Okay. Right? Because yeah. even though they're not so lying it's not technically. So much, yeah, that's right. It. That's right. It's Excuse not, me. it's not a lie, but it's how you read it. Right. So that's, that's kind of the frustrating part because you don't, go ahead. I don't, I, okay. So I understand what you're saying. So I'm thinking like for someone that doesn't really use essential oils and they're skeptical, skeptical like me right now, really, and not to be rude is if you're telling me it's not regulated, you're telling me that you have to, you have to read the finer prints, even though they're in the health, health stores, what benefits are there? Like, I don't understand. Like, how do I trust that word? What am I, 
you want to be comfortable with that whole concept. Right. Well, there are a lot of benefits in a okay. pure essential oil. So, um, so what you really want to look at when you're purchasing an oil, you want to look at the purity. You have to okay. do a little bit of research, but you want to look at the purity, the sourcing, and the company practices. So doTERRA's oils are all um, stamped CPTG, which okay. is Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade, meaning that they're 100% pure and potent. So there's no fillers, no contaminants, no synthetic material added to it, right? Okay. They're, they're also third-party tested by the Aromatic Plant Research Center. So, okay. um, and, that, and those tests are available to the public. So for example, this is a bottle of peppermint and the bottom, which you're not going to be able to see, is a batch number. Okay. So if you go to source for, source2u.com and put that batch number in, you'll see the whole purity report on this bottle of oil. Okay. And, you'll, and you'll get to see what makes it up. So let's step back. So I know you mentioned doTERRA, but like there's, there's more than other essential oils out there. So what you're basically right. saying, like as an expert in respects to, you know, selling, not selling, but providing this kind of essential oil thing, you're stating that, you know, before you buy something, you know, make sure that you work with someone or you, or you get the product that you can validate their testing. Is that what I'm understanding from you? Yes. Be honest. No, so, no. So, we educate yeah, me. Yeah. yeah basically. You have to you have to do your research really and yeah. truly, especially because it's not regulated, right? Yes. Um, so I did like I have a few other oils that I went to the health food store. This is before DoTerra, and I figured I can just pick anything because I'm yeah. in the health food store. Okay. And um, what my first experience with DoTerra, I um, was was given a drop of peppermint. So I had bought my peppermint in the health food store, and they didn't smell the same. And that was my first thought. I'm like, well, why wouldn't they? They're both peppermint and they're both pure, right? When I okay. smelled the one that I bought from the store, I didn't feel it, if that makes okay. sense. Like when you smell doTERRA's oils, when you inhale it, you feel it. The right? actual essence of the product itself, right? Yeah, like you okay. feel it, you feel it. It, it's it smelled different and you I, I know it sounds weird when no i get what you say like it, you, you understand that you you like when you think of peppermint or whatever you're like okay i know peppermint right if you just it's very yeah. dull i get what you're saying so i think for yeah. my clarity is you know it's not only about doTERRA let's i understand that you mentioned doTERRA because that's your experience itself but for anybody that's really listening and skeptical yeah. it's more mm -hmm. like making sure that you know i can do your research know that not everything is the same yes. and they, they come to someone like you or yes. anybody else, right? You know, there are health benefits. Like when we say health benefits, what kind of benefits that you've seen that you gain from using it as well? Like what have you made? How has it made you feel good? Okay. How's it? Oh, well, so, um, exactly. So how does it make you feel good? It's really like, you have to tell me cause you're telling me it's supposed to be good for yeah. me. So tell me why is it good for me? Okay. It's for sure. Um, so for my personal experience, yes. so as, as you mentioned, I was diagnosed with an autoimmune few years back and I started using essential oils about two years ago. And um, I started with the supplements. So the essential oils are in the supplements as well. But I started to, after taking it, I started to feel better. I started to move better, which was a big problem for me beforehand. And then I started to have pain-free days, which was another issue I was struggling with. So that was what made me kind of say, look into this more, research it more. You know, these things are actually making a difference I'm, and I'm feeling it. Okay. So I'm of the mindset of, um, I like to do natural. So with the autoimmune, there's 101 drugs that, you know, the doctor kind of put in front of me and I'm like, I don't want to go down that road. It's like a rabbit hole, you know, you can't get out. And so um, when I started with the essential oils and it, and it was something natural and I researched and I can trust the company and I can trust the product, well, I got excited, <laughs> right? And so I, I dug more and the more I dug, the more I was like, okay, this is awesome. And so that was kind of how I started sharing. I mean, I started with my mom, dad, and my sister. First what about people your kids? I shared with. What about your kids? Like, I don't know, like, is it safe for the kids as well? Or like just you? Oh, both? definitely. Definitely. Okay. It, all the oils are, um, they're hundred percent safe and natural. Right. Okay. So I know I keep, I keep saying that, but that's like really key. Okay. Um, and for kids, I mean, so for me, 
you know, is one thing, but for my kids, you can't, you can't just use any old thing, right? Yes. I have to ask you because I'm like, okay, go ahead. Yes. For your kids, it's like, no, that can't. So anyway, so with the kids, um, doTERRA, so with the kids, what you want to do is dilute it, right? So you can use a carrier oil. So we have like things like coconut oil or olive oil or even almond oil. Like there's a whole bunch of carrier oils and um, just diluting it. So the younger the child is, the less oil they need. Okay. Right? The less of it, because it's very potent, right? So um, doTERRA has even come out with a kid's line. Oh, nice. So I just, yeah, I'll just show you here. It's a kid's line. It's got seven um, rollers in here. And so the way they far, so before you go, so for the ones that are not watching the video itself, please go to YouTube and you can watch it. But <laughs> for the ones that are not watching, completely it, forgot. <laughs> you know, for the ones that are not I got watching, caught up that I'm on the video. Yeah. <laughs> but as she, you can tell that what she's basically stating is that you no, know, there are it is safe for kids itself. That's what I'm understanding from you. And then you know, the terror or any essential oil manufacturer should have something in place that advise and educate other people that are, that are giving it to their kids what to do and what not to do. Is that fair to say? Right, right. So, and, and I mean, just from my biased opinion, or it's not yes. even really biased, but with kids, you know, obviously you don't want to give them harmful stuff, right? So research is, is very key. I trust doTERRA. And so my three kids, um, we have doTERRA all over this house, okay. <laughs> right? And that's what they use. Um, so even uh, topical is the is t using it topically. So that's how yeah. they set it up in the, the kids kit. Um, is probably the best and easiest way to use it on a child. So just to be clear, topical means on top of the surface. Okay, just for people that don't understand what topical. Use, means. Using yeah. it on your skin. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So so I, I can quickly tell you there's three ways to use okay, doTERRA please. oils, and the first way is aromatically, so diffusing. Okay. I, you okay. probably can't see my background, but it's on. Well, um, then, diffusing so. it or yeah or even putting a drop in your hand and inhaling okay. something as simple like that um topical which is actually putting it on the skin and you would use a um a carrier oil oh, really? to dilute it right so what even ingestion? for people with sensitive skin what ingestion? and then the third the third way is internal ingestion okay okay and and i i just ha i have to stress that only only doTERRA oils would I ever say you can ingest. Okay. Right. So I, you've done I your would research on, on that yes. specific. Yes. And I okay. know. Yes. And they're and they're certified. So I would never suggest anyone going to Walmart as one of those internal. <laughs> and, and you know, to be fair too, to be, to be fair, it actually says on the bottle internal use. Oh, sorry, external use only. So oh. if there's fillers in there, they they have to tell you don't ingest these that's good to know and i think yes. I, it's nice to know and i think from what i'm getting from you is that you know you won't be an advocate for this specifically if it hadn't affected you you know it hasn't benefited you and then what i get from you is that because it helped you you shared it with your family and your friends and you felt it safe enough for your kids right yes and i don't know how long have you been using it if you don't mind me asking uh just over two years Oh, nice and that's yeah. how much an impact it has for you that you decide to be an advocate for this oh yeah i i mean at first i was a customer because i mean i was kind of a, okay. a mess back then so i had some work to do for myself but then as i'm as i'm um, using the oils in the supplements and i i shared with my sister because she has some health concerns and my parents and i'm seeing that it's helping them too it's like well you know i can't keep it to myself. I know so many Aww. people with, you know, you just talk to your friend, oh, I have back pain or I have, everybody has something. Yes. And, and, and I think we get used to pain. I think we sort of accept it and we, um, you know, just figure out life around the pain. Right. And that's, that's somewhat, that's kind of what I did um, prior to doTERRA. I mean, it, it was a struggle to go up and down the stairs for me. So okay. I, would stay on the bottom floor or stay upstairs. Like really? I never did the up and yeah, I pre-planned what I had, everything I had to do on the top floor, do it and then go downstairs. But so now it's different, right? There's no up and down. Think small. Yes. Those, those days are done. Like I'm running up and down the stairs. It's, it's awesome. I can't even, <laughs> it's awesome. 
but, um, but it's, it's things like that, you know, so I, I almost accepted the pain and, you know, worked around it. So now I'm realizing, well, I don't have to do that. You know, that's oh. not how we're meant to be anyways, but we don't have to do that. So I like that. I'm, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm passionate about sharing it because I know, you know, you find your right combination or the right oil for you. It will help. So with that said, because you said you're passionate about for the people that are listening to you, and I can tell, like I'm smiling because I can see that you know this is you're passionate about, and it, yes. it's nice to see that you know at one point you know you couldn't do something, and doing this helped you. And people maybe that are listening or watching you are like, you know what, maybe I should try something different. I don't have to be in pain. So if they were interested in you know your in the products that you're offering or your service, what's the best platform that they can reach you out on? Like, are you on Instagram, Facebook? How can we reach you out on? Okay, so I'm I'm on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and I just okay. started Pinterest. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I know. Eh? <laughs> and um, I do have my website. It's up okay. and running now. Um, so it's naturalessentialwellness.ca. Okay. Thank you. And I try to put a lot of um, um, articles and videos and stuff on there just to educate people. I like right? that. Right? Because I mean, you yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of um, info on there because i know that's how i i take things in right i need to read i need to see so i i'm and i'm gonna keep putting things on and and rotating things and stuff like that on the website but yeah there's quite a bit of info on there we also do um or i teach uh essential oil 101 classes on wednesdays wednesdays at 7 30 all zoom okay <laughs> all zoom for now and my business partner actually does Thursdays at eight. So there's opportunity to learn, um, just, you know, just the intro, Educate like learn yourself. the basics. Yeah, yeah. Right. Just, just what are our essential oils, that kind of thing. Yeah. And I mean, we have lots of, lots of ways of getting education out there. So I like that. And I think when somebody's yeah. reaching out to you, cause I've recently been hearing a lot about doTERRA oils or even just essential oils itself, like, and for the audience or for our audience, what separates you apart from others? And not to speak for you, but so far when I see you, and like I'm, you talk about, you light up. I don't know if anybody feels that kind of passion, but let me not talk for you, but you please. Okay. <laughs> tell me what separates you from well, others. Okay. Um, I think what I can bring to the table is the experience. So I've been on that side of it, of, of pain and soreness and whatnot. And then I've come to the other side. And, and I'm not saying that I'm like healed or everything's, you know, hunky dory kind of, oh, that's not a good word, but take that out. It's fine. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, but I'm, I'm on that, that wellness journey. Right. And I'm, and I'm seeing the changes and I'm seeing, um, uh, the improvement. Like I have so many examples from just my family alone that were, where things have improved and just, you know, from the small little things to, bigger things, you know what I mean? Um, bigger health issues. So it just, um, my experience has made me passionate about sharing it. And um, I can, huh, I know there's so many people out there that are, are suffering with some sort of health concern, right? And I can relate and so understand, like I was that person that got locked out of my house because I couldn't turn the key when I got home and nobody was home, like things like that. And it's small, right? So my husband came, I had to call him and he came and he just went like that and turned the key that I spent like 15, 20 minutes trying, right? It's just something small like that, that affects everything, right? So it just makes me more passionate about You look sharing. happy. Like you look like you're like, you're happy. Yes. Like, you know, you like this, Very like you, so. I see. Yeah. I think, yeah, I see for you. Like, I just like, you're smiling. You can't stop because we're talking <laughs> about this. I think yeah, I can I understand that. because coming from that part to where you are now, it's like, mm -hmm. thank you. Like, it's like, it was like, oh my God, I didn't know how good I could feel. You know, yes. that feeling. And I you, like that. You forget. You forget yeah. what it feels to be healthy, right? Yeah. Or not and, accepting as pain as normal. Yeah. And I mean, I talk, I talk about pain a lot because that's my experience, but there's so many other, um, things that doTERRA can help with. It helps. We have performance athletes. 
uh, so which are professional athletes, so like Donovan Mitchell, who actually had some um, career making uh, goals last night, not goals, uh, baskets and NBA that um, advocate with the doTERRA products and like the deep blue and how it helps with your muscles and um, when you're working out and stuff like that. So there's so many different areas that they can help. I just, I, like I know passion. I, 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 I sorry, I know pain. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> I can respect yeah. that. I yeah. honestly wanted to say, even sitting down here, I could tell that, you know, if anybody's watching or listening, you know, if you're in pain, you've tried everything, you're not, you want to do natural stuff, you know, maybe essential oils are for you, right? And we will have Charlene's information here. Maybe reach out to her, do your research. She says her website has a lot of information. That's something you can start, uh, start with. But um, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you taking the time to have this conversation with me. It was a great oh, pleasure. I didn't realize, I didn't know what That's essential awesome. oils like. You see so many, I'm not gonna read. I'm not, I'm not gonna read. So if someone can actually have a conversation with me and tell me verbally, it makes sense. Yeah. So I wanna say thank yes. you for being on this podcast. Yes. I sincerely appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. Thank you for joining us today on our weekly episode of Health Your Way podcast. Don't forget to subscribe, share with others, and please feel free to comment below and ask any questions on topics we discuss as well as future topics you'd like to hear about. Have a happy and healthy week and be sure to tune in next week for the next episode on a Health Your Way podcast.